market share problem. Welcome to this week's Industry Leader Update. As a collective group of professionals, we have been negatively impacted by falling home values, cuts in lending ratios are principal limits, the elimination of loan products, and borrower qualification guidelines. In 2009, over 114,000 reverse mortgages were endorsed versus only 54,000 in 2012. Consequently, we can easily point to any of these factors as the leading cause of our lackluster volume. But are we not seeing the forest clearly through the trees? Now, one well-respected industry leader told me this, I don't want a bigger piece of the pie, but a bigger pie itself. Otto Kumbar, CEO of Liberty Home Equity Solutions, was quoted in Normla's Reverse Mortgage Magazine in an article entitled Extreme Summit. Kumbar said this, less than 1% penetration, we are failing. Now, he backs his assertion comparing 50,000 plus endorsed loans to 200,000 qualified senior households with sufficient equity for a reverse mortgage, and that equals a paltry one quarter of 1% of available market share. It boils down to the law of numbers. It's the same principle that motivates us to look at how many leads it will take us to generate X amount of closed loans per month, and that should be our same approach to our market share. Now, more positively, and interested potential borrowers in the future will equal more loans. So, where do we begin? Well, the first is public perception. Despite the recent efforts by our industry and the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association, Kumbar says, we have allowed others to distort the facts, and the only seniors who do not understand the product are the ones who do not like it. It's been an uphill battle for us. Ignorant and inaccurate articles in national magazines and also news outlets have reinforced a very false and negative perception that reverse mortgages are fraught with pitfalls and should only be used by those who are house rich and cash poor and who are also seeing it as a loan of last resort. Now personally, such information is misleading and toxic, especially for retirees who need solutions. It also damages our efforts to reach the more affluent homeowner and their financial advisor. The truth is that the reverse mortgage program was never intended to only help lower income seniors. It was intended to assist all senior homeowners to meet the financial challenges of aging in place. Now to better illustrate this point, take a moment and imagine a world where getting a reverse mortgage was seen as a normal rite of passage for most American retirees, a sign of intelligent planning and wise use of an idle asset, the home. It's a loan that was accepted and used by the affluent middle class and lower income individuals. Now ask yourself, looking at that scenario, what would our industry's volume look like, especially with a wave of underprepared retirees that held no perception biases against the program? Now suffice it to say today, we would be growing despite recent program changes. Now what began as an idea at the 2013 normal annual meeting has grown into a coordinated industry-wide effort to remake the loan's public image. Either we proactively define the product to the American public, or we're going to leave it to others to define it. Now, Generation Mortgage CEO Colin Cushman summarized it in this way. We don't have a product problem, we have a public perception problem. We have the opportunity to give seniors options and cash flow, but we haven't scratched the surface in presenting it to them. Product changes and market challenges aside, we need a larger market space in which to work, to fully reach both our potential borrowers and to serve existing homeowners. Now, what are your thoughts? Leave your comments in the comment section below and have a great week.